Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm Vishal Hanali Patan Shetty, along with my teammate Jesse Da Costa and Hamad. The problem we are trying to solve through this project is optimizing uh, steel production. And uh, this is a time series forecasting project. So in our study, we try to optimize the production levels. It so happens in the companies that uh, overproduction and underproduction are a big problem. So uh, in terms of underproduction, companies faces losses in the potential sales and in all production they face losses in the cash flow so in, through the study we are trying to improve the demand forecast using more accurate demand forecasting and math optimization methods we try to maximize the resources cash flow and the profits uh, a little bit of background about our data so it was collected uh, in uh, from the canadian steel mill for the years 2016 to 2019 initially we had uh, four different sheets sales orders inventory production and shipments and uh, we merged all the four data sheets uh, on the lowest granular level, that is calendar day and SKUs. We further uh, had the data points of like over 8,000 and uh, we grouped them by the uh, size and block levels. Also, we went ahead a step further and blocked them by monthly and weekly values. We saw that uh, uh, data was more insightful, although we saw a decrease in the uh, data points which were available. We also uh, took external market indicators that impact the steel market and merged along with us. We had a final data set on, based on which we went ahead and did the exploratory data analysis. So uh, EDA was more focused on seeing how uh, uh, shipment turns varied with uh, the time. As we can see here, total shipments uh, uh, that uh, were, was more in uh, 2017. We see a decreasing trend uh, from 2017 to 2018. Uh, and we can also see the distribution of uh, weekly shipments from 2016 to 19. Also the trends uh, in 2016 to 19 we see that uh, during the end of year the shipments take a, a, a slight hit and uh, so data preparation uh, we, we we did correlation plots to see which are all the uh, uh, variables of interest that we could be using in our model and uh, we also check for multi collinearity and uh, test strain split was slightly different because our problem involved a time series problem and uh, where past values influence the future values so we had to use time continuous data for training and testing for this purpose we used three years of data for training and one years for testing so this approximately resulted in 75 percent uh, training and 25 percent split uh, and we also focused individually on one particular block the idea was to get the predictions right for one block before we moved into our uh, next block <clears throat> so modeling's levels of difficulties so we we start with uh, univariate time series analysis we picked up uh, arma model since uh, we didn't go with Arima because the data available for one block was already stationary. And then from Arma model, we could learn that it helped us confirm the autocorrelation assumptions that required for the time series models. The only limitations we could find for uh, finding the Arma was uh, the values were converging to mean and constant, uh, which is why we uh, went ahead with uh, uh, profit. We saw the improvement in MAE and RMSC as a revaluation metrics. But the limitations were we could not accommodate more multiple independent variables since we had so many independent variables uh, to be accommodated in the project so which is why we went and uh, tried uh, uh, lstm so this improved in comparison metrics and then seems to have a higher level of coefficient of determination from the previous models uh, but we used only four weeks of uh, past shipments as an input uh, we can clearly see that uh, uh, mae was decreasing from uh, model to model and uh, so level two was trying out multivariate time series analysis so we built on the lstm model from the previous uh, uh, level and then expanded to use the best of lstm for the multivariate case in lstm multivariate we uh, it showed overall best improvements in metrics uh, lstm multivariate was a uni class again it was focused on one block we used uh, four weeks uh, as an input in the batch of uh, batch size of three months and we included eight covariates we check for multicollinearity between the uh, covariates before including them and the architecture was specifically designed with one hidden layer and 160 neurons and uh, we we ran the uh, model for like 10 epochs uh, and one one more uh, performance tuning measure we used was a uh, huber loss compared to the square losses this is uh, this the reason uh, of using this was uh, because huber losses are less sensitive to outliers in the data compared to the squared losses and we could see that there is a big uh, huge decrease in the MAE and multivariate LSTM was giving the promised uh, uh, predictions and level 3 we also wanted to include more classes because we had more blocks in the data 
we uh, tried uh, doing two LSTM multivariate multi-class models weekly and monthly but these models don't seem to be able to represent this data very very well and uh, future work uh, will be uh, done done on this particular area and uh, we saw that results uh, in the results we could see that uh, MSC and RMSC uh, were decreasing from all from the uh, uh, increasing level level from level one to level two and multivariate LSTM gave us the best uh, predictions the work done in the study is explained in more detail in the report and the code for the project is uploaded on a github whose link is provided in the description below thank you for watching the video